morning, everyone. 11 minutes before 7, and we're taking a live look in Massachusetts, where you can see heavy snowfall is making it look a little more like winter on this second day of spring. It shouldn't stick around too long. Temperatures are set to increase tomorrow. Yeah, several areas of the East Coast may be dealing with some snow today. So, hey, it could be worse. <laughs> it could be worse. A very good Monday morning, everyone, and thank you so much for waking up with the Valley today. Kyle Bosch here with Lisa Badeau. We're just getting started with nonstop news and weather all the way up to the top of the hour to help you plan your day. And, of course, we start with the big story everybody is talking about internationally. President Barack Obama about to begin his first full day in Havana. He's continuing an historic trip to Cuba with his family by his side. It's the first time in nearly eight decades a sitting U.S. president has visited that country. Today, the president will meet with the Cuban president and members of Cuban civil society. White House officials say President Obama will be candid with the Cubans about areas of disagreement, namely human rights practices. North Dakota U.S. Senator Heidi Heitkamp and Minnesota U.S. Senator Amy Klobuchar are among those accompanying the president to Cuba. One person is dead after a shootout with police Sunday night near a northern Indiana auto parts store. Police say around 9.30 there were reports of shots fired near a Fort Wayne auto zone. When officers arrived, they saw a person with a gun. Now the suspect took off running and started shooting at the officers who were chasing him. Officers fired back and hit the suspect. Paramedics say that the suspect died at the scene. Another person showed up at the hospital with gunshot wounds in serious condition. But police say they're not sure yet if the person was connected at all to the shooting. Guests at a West Fargo motel are waking up in their rented rooms this morning for the first time since a police standoff there on Friday afternoon. People were evacuated from the roadway in after a man fired several shots inside that motel on Friday. Management had to spend much of the day Saturday and part of yesterday cleaning up after the incident. The first floor of the long-term wing had the most damage. Bullets broke a water pipe and filled the first floor with several inches of water. 37-year-old Jan Michael Wangstead is in jail on charges of attempted murder and being a felon in possession of a firearm. Time now for a check of weather and traffic on the ones, and we start with meteorologist Lisa Green on this Monday morning. Good morning. We've got a quiet start to the work week with temperatures that are relatively pleasant. They're not intolerable out there. We're in the 20s and even a 30-degree temperature currently in Fargo-Moorhead. Of course, you'll still need that coat to head out the door this morning, especially when you factor in that wind. But otherwise, looking pretty good. We've got partly cloudy skies. There may be a couple of snowflakes up around Red Lake, stretching up toward uh, the eastern parts of Marshall County in Minnesota. One of the, of the cool places is over toward Bedette. We're at 19 degrees to start off there this morning. Still have that snow on the ground from last week's foot of snow that fell there, and that's helping to cool things off a bit there compared to Rosa, where we're at 27. A look at our hourly planner for today. We are going to see some sunshine to start, a little bit of sun, and then the clouds build in throughout the day. Some of us spending the day more cloudy than sunny uh, than others. And into the afternoon hours, highs in the mid-40s, and that's pretty close to average, maybe about five degrees above the average for this time of year. So doing all right as far as temperature is concerned. And our wind out of the southeast in that five to 15 mile per hour range as well. And we'll see some gusts to about 20 miles per hour. Now that's through the afternoon and even into the evening. It's late tonight. So tonight and into Tuesday morning that we have a chance for some snow. And that'll be more along the international border. So we're looking at an inch to three inches of snow for the overnight hours. And as we wake up tomorrow morning, some of us having to deal with that fresh coating of snow right along the Canadian border. A little farther south to Highway 2, 0 to 1 inches. We might not even see any snow at all in Grand Forks, maybe a flake or two through the morning hours tomorrow. And then farther south, even quieter for us. We may get a couple of sprinkles or a flake or two into the afternoon hours tomorrow, but shouldn't amount to much in the Southern Valley. So 45 degrees the high today, mostly cloudy. Tomorrow, 42 with that slight chance for precip, especially overnight tonight. We may see some accumulation happening up north. Wednesday, breezy with some cloud cover. Thursday, we see the sunshine return. And for Good Friday, we're looking at a chance for some rain and thunder showers possible, but mainly some snow showers into the day on Saturday as this lingers. And then hopefully that clears out and our Easter Sunday can be sunny with a high of 45. Let's check in with Al. Lisa, I'm uh, northbound on 
I-29 this morning. No signs of that road work that we're expecting on the south side, but the signs are going up right now. It extends roughly from 19th Avenue North to the tri-level. A lot of traffic out here this morning, really quite busy. I-94 busy as well. Don't forget we have that stalled car on westbound Interstate 94, 345th Street and Vets Boulevard. Drive carefully today and always. Al Ahmed Valley Today traffic. So six minutes before seven, it was an emotional homecoming for Tampa Bay Rays outfielder Dayron Verona as his team arrived in Havana ahead of their exhibition game against Cuba's national team. Verona defected three years ago to play baseball in the U.S. and last night got to see some of his family members that he hasn't seen in three years. Tomorrow's game will be attended by President Obama and Cuban leader Raul Castro. It will be the first game between a U.S. Major League Baseball team and a Cuban national team since 1999. That's when the Baltimore Orioles went to Cuba and defeated the defeated Cuba 3-2. to two. West Fargo police say the public was a big help in finding a man suspected of hitting an officer with his car. Police say they were responding to a domestic disturbance report Saturday when 36-year-old Ruben Jorgensen hit the officer and sped off. A number of drivers spotted Jorgensen's vehicle driving erratically and called 911. The officer who was hit was treated for minor injuries. Jorgensen faces charges of assault on a police officer, domestic assault, fleeing, and reckless driving. A West Fargo girl who's fighting leukemia is getting her dream trip thanks to Make-A-Wish. Four-year-old Braylon Peterson's stop at Gigi's Cupcakes yesterday turned even sweeter as she found out that her wish of meeting the Disney princesses is coming true. Yeah, she was told by some North Dakota pageant queens that her family is headed to Disney World. Braylon says she wants to dress up like Tinkerbell and meet some of her favorite Disney characters. Make-A-Wish has been awesome for our family. They um, have a lot of pretty fun activities to make it a little bit easier and especially this trip will be uh, kind of a reward for all the stuff that Braylon's gone through. Braylon and her family will take off for the world of magic at the end of May. We've got a reminder this morning about a major road closure and major ESPN shoot going on in downtown Fargo today. Part of Broadway right near the Fargo Theater is going to be closed down for about three hours. Again, a crew from ESPN is in town to shoot a segment. They're working with Bison quarterback Carson Wentz on some stuff for the NFL draft. The closure is between 2nd and 4th Avenues North. It closed down starting at 6 a.m. this morning. It's going to stay that way to vehicle traffic until about 9 a.m. There is no parking in that area as well until 9 a.m. this morning. Fargo police say they have started towing cars to make room for the crews. Businesses in that section of Broadway will still be able to be accessed if you're walking in that area. However, movement may be restricted at times due to those ESPN crews filming. You feel them all over on the roads. Pothole season is definitely here. And crews can't always get to those potholes right away, or sometimes they don't even know that they're there without your help. This morning on Pothole Patrol is the Valley Today's Christy Larson. And She's been put to work this morning helping smooth things out for your drive to work on a Monday. Hi, Christy. Good morning, guys. That's right. You know, we've been spotting potholes all around the area, and that's how it's going to be for quite some time because, Lee, you've said it once, but you're going to say it again. I mean, this pothole season might last a little longer, so why is that? Well, just the early start of the spring, which I don't think any of us are going to complain about, so that's, <laughs> that's the good thing. The bad thing is that the pothole season is a little bit longer until we can start fixing and uh, repairing streets for real uh, in the next uh, coming months. And we were filling some this morning, but you guys are also going to be out all afternoon. And this is going to be a project that happens usually well into the summertime, too. We'll, we'll address. Uh, we're out every day uh, all summer long, as weather permits for that also. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, it's what we do, and uh, we do maintenance and all the we we were able to address the, the residential areas a little bit more during the summer than we are right now but uh, we got our hands full with uh, our, our major arterials you know the 13th and main avenues of the world uh, so they take precedence right now as far as addressing the those those type of issues but you know we'll it's not that we're not coming to a residential near right. you soon, but uh, we're coming. 
<laughs> and you can help them find some of those areas that might need some work. You can go to valleynewslive.com, click on our hot button, and Kyle and Lisa, on there we have a link on where you can report potholes that you see on your routes. Christy Larson reporting live. Thank you, Christy. Let's get our answer now to our question of the morning on Facebook. Today's question, women spend over $1,000 a year on this, according to a new poll. The answer, coffee from chain stores. Got to get that caffeine pick-me-up. Remember, you can go to our Valley News Live Facebook page to take part in our question of the morning. Well, this morning, we've got a quiet start to our day, and it should be rather quiet all day long. A few clouds, 45 degrees or high, and chance for snow late tonight up north. Thanks for waking up with the Valley today. More local news and weather right here in just 25 minutes. Have a great Monday, everybody. We will see you tomorrow morning.